In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an RSS feed using FeedBurner and your WordPress website. The first thing you'll want to do is to log in to the admin panel of your WordPress website and click on Posts. Once there, click on Categories. And you're going to go ahead and create a category called Podcast, Podcasts, Videos, whatever the content that you want to um, have your feed set up to. So basically, the step here is we're creating a category and naming it Podcasts, Videos, or something similar. So I'm going to do Podcast. Leave everything else as is. Scroll down and click Add Category. And then look in your Categories list and you'll see your category was created. You will then go ahead and create a new post for your podcast. So here is a post that I created for True Harmony Media Minute Episode 1. And in it I have all of the information about my podcast, some show notes, uh, a link to listen to the audio file. So now what I want to do, once I have my podcast post set up is to go to categories and select the category that I created specifically for my podcast. So I'll select podcast, then update or publish post if you have not published the post already. What I want to do is get a direct link to that category. So meaning I want to get the link for the page that lists all of my posts for the category podcast then I'm going to use that link to create an RSS feed in FeedBurner. I'm going to show you one quick and easy way to find the link for your podcast category. Go to your blog and make sure that your post is already published. Locate the post that has that podcast category in it or if you have the category set up on your blog already you could click on podcast in categories so you would view all posts filed under podcast or if you don't have categories set up on the sidebar of your blog just look for that podcast or that post that has podcast as the category and here it is so posted by Darlene Victoria in blog true harmony media minute and podcast so those are my categories for this post and I want the direct link to to view all posts under the category podcast and I'm doing this to get the link so now here is the link for all of my posts associated with that category called a podcast and I'm going to put all of my future podcast episodes in this category now that I have my link and my website set up I can go and do the feed burner part of setting up an RSS feed go to feedburner.com and you will sign in. FeedBurner is now owned by Google, has been for a while. So you can sign in with an existing Google account. If you don't have one or want to create a new one, you can go ahead and do that. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to go ahead and create a new account. So once you create a new Google account and sign into FeedBurner for the very first time, it allows you to claim your feeds now or you can burn a feed right this instant by typing your blog or feed address here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to that page where you found the URL for your category podcast listing. Copy it. So you can either select, right click, copy, or just select it all and do control C on your keyboard as a shortcut. Paste it. And then you can click, if this is specifically for a podcast, you can click I am a podcaster. Click next. Now, if you want to have your, now you can also use FeedBurner to do an RSS feed for your entire blog, which you can do. Or you can do for the specific category. Now the choice is yours. If your blog is set up specifically for your podcast, then you can just choose a to set up a feed burner feed for your uh, whole entire website. Or if you want to go ahead and do the category like I had uh, mentioned, you can go ahead and do that. So for the sake of this 
video I'm going to show, I am going to do the podcast feed. Feed. Click next. Then your feed title. Since this is for the True Harmony Media Minute, I'm going to change it to True Harmony Media Minute. And you can change it to whatever your podcast title is. Then your feed address, you can edit that. Your feed address is going to be http dot slash slash feeds dot feedburner dot com slash whatever you enter into this box. So I'm going to leave it as True Harmony Media Minute Podcast. Click next. And now I have a feed burner RSS feed set up and people can subscribe to my feed. And because this is connected to the category called podcast on my website, anytime I add a new post to my website under the category podcast, those that are signed up to my feed will be notified that there is a new podcast available. So if I click on this link, you will see my podcast feed. This is what a feed burner podcast feed looks like. Scroll down and you will see that I have episode one in the feed. Now, anytime I add any future posts, like I said, with the category podcast to my blog, they will show up here. So I'm going to show you that really quickly, how that works. I'm going to go back to my website. Go back to my other True Harmony True Harmony Media Minute episode. I'm going to do quick edit. Add it to the podcast category. Update my post. I'm going to wait 5 or 10 minutes and then go back to my RSS feed and refresh the page. And once I do that, episode 1 and episode 2 will be available. Okay, so I'm going to refresh the page and see if my second episode appears and it does. So that is how you can easily create an RSS feed using category in your WordPress website. Play around with uh, categories on your blog and also play around with different ways by using the feed burner service. You can't uh, mess up anything. You can always delete a feed in your feed burner account, update the URL. So just play around um, get to know the two services and uh, you'll do great.